Welcome back friends this is Ram here and it's 30th tutorial on JavaFX 8. In this tutorial we are going to see about a radio button. So let's start with the previous application. Using the radio button I am going to add a gender that is a user is a male or a female. So radio button 13 tutorial 30 tutorial on radio button now next i'm going to add two radio buttons so say private radio button and say first mail fix the import for a radio button and add one more radio button for female save this now next I'm going to add the labels for this so after the date I'm going to add these two so mail goes to new radio button and the label is say mail and one more say female goes to new radio button of label female now the error because of the, now I'm going to add one toggle group so that we can select only one of the radio button that is either male or female so to add that I'm going to add toggle group save toggle group for gender equals to new toggle group Fix the import for toggle group. Now add these two radio buttons in the toggle group. So mail dot set toggle group say gender and similarly for female now next add these two radio buttons into the layout so I'm going to add below the ID fields so fields and date so after the date so say male and female save this and check whether the radio buttons are appear or not so these are the two radio buttons which we have added in the layout so we are using the toggle group we can select either the only one radio button 
the female or male so the next is i am going to add the gender column in the table so to add a column for the gender i'm going to copy this column and add the column for gender so this is the eighth column for gender and replace this with column eight and here again uh, gender save this and add the column eight into the table and run once again so this is the new element gender currently it it's uh, empty now we are going to add this gender string into the user class so that we can fetch the data or add the data into the database so add one more simple string property for the gender so say gender create one more string into the constructor so string say gender in the small letter next is assign this gender to the constructor so gender and next i'm going to add get on set method for the gender so say a uh, uh, gender and return the value of a gender and in the set method i am going to set gender with the string say gender and change here gender and here a uh, gender this is the error because we have added a one variable gender and so after adding variable we have to refresh when it will refresh it has to check for the gender so get string and a column name gender now save this so using the gender we can set 
the value of a set the value or a male or female string into the table and or we can fetch the database content into the gender or a male or female field so the, this is the gender field so this is the error given because of we have not declared any gender field into our uh, database now to add this gender field into the database open your database and add one more column that is gender to the user database table so to add the new column come to the structure and add a column with the name gender say type text and add column so it will add a new column to the database come to the browse and search and here we can see the new column has been added and currently this is empty because because we have to add the users with the gender field now come back to our application now run it once again so the now this is the application with the, the radio buttons and the gender field in the column now load the table now this is currently all the gender fields are empty in the next tutorial we are going to see how to save the radio button values into the database so if you have any question about this tutorial ask me in a comment section or you can mail me on my email id that is alapureram at the red gmail dot com and finally if you really like my work please like share and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching this video see you in the next tutorial